Welcome back to the channel. I chose the Rottweiler because I like the way they look. I love the colors on them. They're just like children, you know what I'm saying? Hey, man. If your dogs are just Don't like you know children. All sometimes me. you're gonna have to discipline Don't them. Sometimes you can reward me. them. You know sometimes you're talking you know about. you're gonna have good man, times and bad man, times. You're you're ups and downs with them. I just try to spend as much time as I can with my Rottweiler, so when they get big, when they get to 100 oh, pounds or 150 pounds, I don't want to be scared of them. Man, I don't want to be scared to grab their face. About. I don't want to be scared to grab their collar or put a about. collar on and off their face. I, I want them to be comfortable with me, just, and I want them to trust I'm me, just say, oh, man, and I want them to know whoa, 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 that I won't whoa. hurt them, that I won't do anything to whoa. hurt them or harm them. Lucky. I ain't just but them right I do want them to know that when it's time for me to lay down the law, it's time for me to lay down the law, and it's time for them to obey. But if you don't have the time if you don't have the energy to come out and spend time with these dogs, don't just get you one just to have it chained up to the tree. Man, you had me say, chained oh, up to I the tree yesterday. No, these dogs are meant to be part of your family. They will protect you because I'm telling you, when people come up to my fence, I ain't protecting my dogs are shit. alert. They're looking like, okay, who is this? You know, what are they doing here? You know, and, and I know they're going to be great guard dogs, great protectors of my, me and my family. If you don't have the space to give them some space to move around and run around in, then you don't need to get a larger breed of dog. You don't need to get a, a Connie Corso or a, a Rottweiler or, you know, it can be done, but I'm just saying in my opinion, like I said, this is my opinion. If I was living in an apartment, I don't think I would have went with a larger breed like this. But since I'm out in the country and I have a, a lot of space in my backyard, you know, I, I said I can go ahead and get the Rottweiler. Do not listen to the myths people tell you about Rottweilers, pit bulls, any type of dog turning on their owners. There are going to be situations where dogs bite humans. There are situations where humans hit humans. We just watched Will Smith walk on stage and slap the mess out of Chris Rock at the Oscars. <laughs> oh, wow! So don't think that dogs might sometimes not lash out. They're going to lash out, they're going to get upset, they're going to get frustrated. There's different reasons that trigger dogs in different ways. If you treat that dog good, that dog is going to be good to you. If you treat that dog bad, that dog is going to be, you know, it, it might treat you bad. Another reason that you, sh you might shouldn't get a larger breed of dog or you might should not get a Rottweiler, financial situations. Okay. If you're not financially able to be able to take these dogs to the vet, be able to get them their shots, be able to get them, you know, maybe some toys. If you're not able to feed them because it, it can get expensive. It's not outrageous, but it can get expensive when it comes to feeding um, your dog. And my dogs, when I call them to come to me, I feel like since they love me, if I call them by their name, they'll come to me. Rocky, come on. Oh shit, what the hell you want with me? If your dog doesn't come to you, you might need to give them more love. You know, I want my dogs to be happy when I call their name. Whoa, I want them to be happy to come see me. Love. Now, if you're a, if you're not ready to be stern and firm with an animal, then the Rottweiler is not for you. These dogs are Nigga, very, breath, man, very, very, very smart. If they sense the fear in you, of course they're going to try to take over. You cannot be fearful of your pet. You know, you can't be scared to put your hand in their mouth. You can't be scared to touch them, I feel them, because you got to get their trust and you got to also be able to trust them also. If you're going to be afraid of them or if you're going to, they're going to get so big and be out of control where you're going to just hey, bro, chain them up get a or keep them in water the kennel or all day Come on, you're man. scared to go out there and mess with them. This is not the breed for you. Look, look how big his head. His head is almost as big as mine's already at six months old. You know, I'm gonna tell you like this. Go with your instincts. Do your research. Don't listen to what other people say. Just do your own research before you go out and spend your money on anything, any type of animal, any type of dog. Like I say, I've had a good, a real good journey as far as me having these dogs up to six months. Please like, comment, subscribe, share the video. And once again, it's me, Mr. Life is Good here in North Carolina. I want to send you love. And wherever you're at, drop down in the comments what your dog name is. Drop down in the comments what type of dog you have. And if you have any other tips or any other things that might can help another person that's thinking about getting a dog or getting a Rottweiler or getting any type of larger breed of dog. 
So until next time, thank you for watching. Peace.